I wash my hands, right? The Riverside investigation was scheduled to last three days. By the second day, we had 35 men visit our house, including this guy who shows up to meet a girl half his age. He comes in and he's, he's jittery, he's jazzed up, and he goes to wash his hands. Well, I'm watching from the next room, and, you know, I don't like every approach to be the same. Paper towels right over here. So I grab a paper towel. He sees me and I hand it to him. And at first he just thinks, oh, gee, thanks. And then there's this, you know, he figures out that this is going to be a problem. Do you uh, have a seat right over on the uh, stool there, please? Mm -hmm. Well, who are you? I'm Chris. Chris. Yeah. Yeah. And who did you come to see, Chris? Um, uh, what's her name? What's her name? I'm sorry. Oh, you catch it. You caught, caught me off guard. He's you know, shaky. He looks like he's on some kind of a drug. And in fact, later, uh, police found methamphetamines in his car. You came to see Kelly. Yeah. And how old is Kelly? Kelly's way too young for me. Way too young for you? Yeah. Then why did you come here, Chris? I came here to tell her that, actually. To tell I her that she was way too young? Actually, I did, yeah. 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 I swear on my life. So you drove all the way from where? I drove from Rancho because I was tempted at first, and then I, uh, and then I was thinking on the way down here. I was like, you know what? I can't really do this. I don't feel right in my conscience. Like I'm a conscience type person. Yeah, I could tell and you're a conscience type person by your very, very, by your very conscience. Yeah, like, yeah. And then I was gonna come here and tell her, you know, I don't want to do anything. I didn't bring any condoms. Or you did not. No, you know. So, I mean, you can take them out of your pocket now. I know from the chat that the decoy had asked him to bring condoms. So I asked him, and he reaches into his pocket. Uh, I brought this, brought but it. this is really watered down. You can even test it. <laughs> That's way watered down. Way watered down. And way what, watered down. What is that? It's a 151, but I put, it was this much left, and I put, I put a bunch of water in it. So. You did? Yeah. It, and that I, was, why, why'd you do that? Because I didn't want to, I didn't, I, I wanted to leave it here when I left and just say, here, you can have this, and that's, that's, you know. So you were going to come have. over here and say, look, uh, do me a favor, though, and just keep your hands out of your pockets, unless oh, you're no, getting your condoms out of there. That's fine. Yeah, just get what you're getting and put them right on the counter. Yeah, there is one, but it's no good. It's I always good. carry it with me. It's always in my wallet, and I took it out of my right. wallet when I was in my car. And, uh, yeah. No, I have nothing to, I honestly was going to come here and tell her I didn't want to do anything. Right. And tell her, you know what, you're extremely young for this. Right. You know? So you were going to come here and tell 13-year-old Kelly that uh, you didn't want to yeah. do, do anything with her. I but really here's did. some Bacardi rum and uh, I was a actually condom. Gonna, I was actually, condom. Did honestly, you transmit this uh, photograph? Oh, my. I, I sent, I didn't know I sent that one. You didn't know? Well, actually, yeah, I did, but wow. I wasn't thinking of. To a 13 year old girl? I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. I know. I wasn't thinking. And then he says, and we hadn't heard this before. You look at me. I didn't even take a shower. If I was coming to do something like that, I would have I would have taken a shower, you know? I mean, that's that's the first thing you do. How old are you? You know, I'm 26 years old, sir. 26 years old. And I really, you are I really twice feel the bad. age of the girl you I thought know. you were going to come see. Like, I really feel bad, dude. Like, I mean, I don't even know how to tell you how I feel bad. Now, I was. Worried like so now you like, go on and do this. I, I'm sorry. You know I, Because I was desperate sitting at home. I did and it's not right to do you're right They should have like control things on those chat rooms. Would you and answer the door naked? And finally when confronted with the uh, The transcripts, you know, he admitted that it didn't look good. I really wasn't even gonna come down here Yeah, but you and, did and and when I, I did because I didn't want to hurt somebody's feelings I didn't want somebody to be absolutely hurt. Okay, and sit there and go. Oh my gosh You didn't show up, you know, and and I'm really like a conscious person. I mean, look at me. I, I'm so dirty. Like, I know. I well, I tell you, what's dirty is this conversation you, know you what? had. Yeah, I know. I, I really should not have done this. I felt absolutely. Yes, don't take my blank out of your mouth till I'm yeah, done. Yeah, I, I, I know. Look, if somebody's telling me in the interview that you know they've got an addiction or a compulsion that led them to this situation, you have to say, look, you're an adult, having recognized that. Perhaps you should have done something about it before you ended up walking into this house. Yeah, I was not fantasizing about a 13-year-old, for God's sake. You know, that's it, not right to do. Everything would you ever else. have two guys all over you? Uh, it's just, like I said, fantasy type What would over. you do with two? Yeah, it's just wanting to hear. And, and Now, do you uh, know that it's illegal? Do you, do you, I figured it had the parent. No, I didn't know that it was illegal. Illegal to send this kind of material? I did not know that. 
I to really didn't. somebody who you believe is underage? I, I did not know that. That's against the oh law. Oh my god. So here's what you need to know, Chris. And oh, that is that that uh, that I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on people who go. Well, you're welcome to leave and take your stuff with please. you. But if there's anything else you'd like to say, um, please tell us. No. If not, when he left the house, I didn't know that he was on probation. Obviously, that made his situation worse. When ultimately he was arrested. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Please don't do this, please. Because I really wasn't going to do this. Go ahead and cuff him. Sir? Sir? Sir. What? Look, yes, reality sets in right when I stepped out my front door. You're right. You did. Yeah, I did. And you're exactly right. That's where no, the crime it, occurred. Walter Bast did not stick out of a crowd. He was the kind of guy you'd see standing in line at the dry cleaners of the grocery store. I need you to just arrest me and take me to jail and, and execute. I need to talk to you first. 